Welcome to Intel Form program. In this short film, I will show how to define a hole covered by truss with roof with skylight and how to export this model to Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis program. In Intel Form, it is possible to define default sections and materials for elements like columns, beams, plates, and so on. So first I set steel profiles as default sections and steel as default material for them. The settings will be applied to newly created masses, so I simply start new project to take them into account. By default we have one mass in our model. First let's change its contour. As in this case it is a rectangle I simply change mass width and height. Next I switch on grid on mass roof and I set number of X and Y axes. Shape definition is also simple. To do this, it is sufficient to select one of contour lines, elevate it to the required height and choose its shape. In this example, I have chosen parabola. To get more complicated shapes, we can make the same operations on other lines or characteristic points. Here I select contour center point and I elevate it as previously. In this model, Z coordinates of roof points will be added. The user can benefit from a few other parameters for roof creation. It will be shown in dedicated films. Now let's define a truss. In Interform truss is one of sections in sections database. So I simply select grid beams on Y direction and I apply truss section to them. Trusses automatically adjust to roof shape. I stay with default sections for truss elements and I only change its height. We can easily define how grid beams are mutually located. We can, for example, adjust upper or lower profile surfaces or adjust connect them in axis. From a few possibilities here, I would like to have beams on X direction lying on trusses, which are defined in Y direction. Now gamma angles for beams, which are important in sloped roofs. Even for complicated shapes, Interform is able to calculate them automatically, taking into account normal vectors in all roof points. In every moment we can improve model clarity by different colors. Here I change beams material. It is still the same st steel material, but with different color assigned, so we can better control our model. Not only upper roof surface can be formed. The same we can do with lower roof surface using exactly the same tools for shape creation. Here I use predefined Gauss curve shape and I apply it to chosen contour line. The next step is skylight definition. I will use second mass for it. So I define new mass, then I define new contour and I assign this contour to new mass. After changing mass height, and its location, we are ready to cut skylight in our roof. To do this, I will benefit from amazing Intel form option, which makes possible cutting one mass to other masses. What is important, once cutting relation is set, program will be automatically cutting masses if the parameters like dimensions, shape or location are changed. To achieve my goal, I have to do mutual cutting. So, First mass will be cut to the second mass and second mass to the first mass. As each mass can be parameterized independently, I select all contour lines of the second mass. I set middle columns for them with default number and I define walls. As previously, we can form a roof. So I switch on grid for this mass and I change its type for radial. Here I use center contour point as the radial grid center, but of course it can be also any of contour vertices. At the end I elevate the roof to the required height and I assign shape using predefined parabola curve. It may happen that after cutting operations still there are some elements which shouldn't be generated. In our model there are a few such beams from lower chord of truss. In traditional approach I would simply delete them, but in parametric approach we need to delete, delete them parametrically using already known mechanism. 
in Intel form masses can serve not only for structural elements generation, but also for cutting purposes. I defined another mass, basing on previous one, with empty parameterization. I set its dimensions and location in such a way that elements to delete are touched by this mass, and I choose in contact as type of elements to be removed. We can look at our model from different points to be sure that the goal is achieved. Let's go back to the first mass to finish its parameterization. In such structure, for sure, we need some struts for roof and side walls. We have the possibility to define roof struts in different locations. Here, I finally choose two rows and struts will be placed in external fields. Next, I select two contour lines, I switch on middle columns for them, and I adjust the number to number of grid axes. At the end, I define struts for side walls simply by switching them on and choosing appropriate type. So, in about six minutes, our model is ready, what seems to be highly competitive in relation to traditional modeling. In Intel form, both architectural and calculation model are created automatically, and we can switch between them at every moment. Now I will export the whole structure to Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis program, using dedicated API interface, and saving it in RTD format. As I defined offsets, during roof definition, I check this option to be taken into account in RSA. Intel form supports also other formats like DXF, IFC or OBG. Thanks to it, model created in Intel form can be easily exchanged with other commonly used programs. Model exported in RTD format is calculation model, so after opening it in Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis, it is generally ready for calculations. Now we are in Autodesk Robot Structural Analysis environment. I start with opening RTD file, which has been just saved by Intel form program. Now let's verify whether our model has been correctly exported. First, I switch on visibility of sections to be sure that they are correctly assigned. Next, I switch on visibility of offsets and panels thickness. Additionally, we can verify that gamma angles for beams, what may be important during further detailed analysis, are also correctly set. Finally, we can check if we will be able to calculate our model. I do preliminary verification and as everything seems to be ok, I start calculations. Of course, now we can play with different calculations options, like for example mesh parameters, but here I try with default settings. Model is relatively complex, so we can expect that RSA will need some time to adjust meshes on different panels. Finally, it succeeds, so we can display displacements maps as a last check. At the end, I would like to emphasize one great advantage of parametric modeling in relation to traditional modeling. Namely, if we would like to change slightly our model, for example skylight shape, in RSA it would take a very long time. We would need to delete manually some elements and create new ones using complex operation on 3D view. In Intel form, we simply change parametrization. In this example, I change the shape of two contour lines and program does the whole work automatically. I encourage you to subscribe Intel Form Film channel and thank you very much for your attention.